we'll be using a chlorine test solution for this experiment. So we'll see if the API extra strength water conditioner is in fact legitimate, if it actually does dechlorify the water. So as you can see here, it says that if the water turns yellowish, as yellow, you know, the more yellow it is, the more chlorine there is. But let's just say yellow is presence of chlorine. So in this little flask, we put in some cold, regular tap water. We mix a solution with it, and it's yellow. So tap water has chlorine. No surprise there. So here I have a big bottle. It's five gallons. This is what I use for water changes. I filled it with that same tap water, this chlorine tap water. And now I'm going to put five drops into that five gallon bottle. So now listen, please trust me, this is extra strength. So all you need is exactly one drop for exactly one gallon. Make sure you have exactly one gallon and exactly one drop so you don't overdose it. If you overdose it, that you might kill the fish. If you underdo it, you might kill the fish. So it's a very, very important thing that you know what you're doing. One drop per gallon. And I've tested it many times and my fish are all healthy. So now you mix it vigorously. And according to the internet, according to Google, it says that this should work immediately. And we're about to test that. But we're just going to, just to be extra sure, we're just going to leave the water for 15 to 30 minutes according to a different source it says you should wait so how about waiting i feel like the waiting game could actually help this thing take more effect while we wait we're going to test how effective it really is instantly but this is really inaccurate so just take this with a grain of salt it's just a little experiment so in this red cup you're going to have water water from the tap the one i showed you in the beginning of the video and we know it has chlorine, but we're going to test it anyway. And there we go. See how yellow this is? It's, it became yellow instantly because there's chlorine presence. And now, let's set this aside. And we're going to do the same, but we're going to do just one drop into the cup. I know this is not one gallon. I know I'm breaking the rule. But we're just doing this little overkill, right? And now you, um, we test that water that we just created. And this is literally after instant application. I mixed it immediately and there we go. It's white. It's clear, crystal clear. Look at the difference. This is crystal clear. So does the water conditioner work instantly? It does in theory. That was an overkill, but it does. It does dechlorify water. Yes, this is not a scam. It does work. So now the time has passed. It's been over 30 minutes actually. So now in this flask is the water from the five gallon. And now we're testing it. We're mixing it really vigorously. We're waiting a minute right here. We just stand here and wait like an idiot. We're going to wait and wait. And now it's 122. And now we check the flask. And the flask is white. White, white, crystal clear. As you can see, it's really clear. No tint, nothing. I checked off camera on other angles, nothing, no tint of yellow. So yes, 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 this water conditioner does in fact work. It works like a charm. But if you're still paranoid and you don't want to wait for, you know, 15 or 30 minutes, you just want to, you want to wait longer or maybe you don't even trust this, I would say maybe give it 24 hours. You don't have to, but give it 24 hours because know that chlorine does air out after 24 hours, but not all of it because there's going to be the stable chlorine, which is a whole different topic. Just know that airing it out for 24 hours is not enough, but it's enough to make the water not lethal, but it's still unhealthy. But you can do that, especially if you have this water treatment thing in there. If you have those drops in there and you wait for 24 hours, it'll just give you a peace of mind. The 24 hours don't do anything. But they do give you a peace of mind if you're really that paranoid of killing your fish, which you're not. If you do one drop per gallon. I'm a nut now. I'm, I keep saying it. One drop per gallon. So yeah. If you want to wear a condom and then pull out using while wearing a condom, you're extra safe. That's pretty much what that is. But can you, 
can you just wait for 15 to 30 minutes and then use the water immediately because you need an immediate water change? Yes, you can.